Hey folks, it's Jeff Farrow's on the Hat Homestead. I got some plumbing news for you. So I wired up, plumbed up the pressure tank and the water pump. Well, I had some problems. I couldn't figure it out. In this video, we're going to solve that problem. And it's a tip that plumbers wouldn't give me a straight answer. Now I explain in this video. Thanks for tuning in everyone, Jeff Ferris on the How to Homestead. So in this video I'm going to talk about how I had to replumb my uh, my my uh, pressure tank and the and the uh, and the uh, water pump and the problem that I had. And so let me just explain what I had was I had the cycling on and off on a water pump. Brand new pump, brand new pressure tank, no leaks anywhere, none. But yet it was cycling on and off. So I went online, tried to contact some some plumbing companies online, some those who say that they know about plumbing, even went in town, talked to a few. No one could answer me this. Why it's cycling on and off? And I have no leaks, everything's new, pressure tank seems to be fine. And so I solved the problem. And during this whole process, there was one issue that was the problem, but no one could explain why you don't do it. So I'll show you that. First off, if you've been watching my videos, I've done a little bit of change. I moved some of these blocks around. I had a block coming out to here. I took that out just to make it easier to, to get in and change the plumbing. All right, so here's the way things were. Water coming in from a water tank, that's just a union. I like to use unions just to kind of help isolate things so I can do some repairs if need be. Then I have this PVC check valve. Some people say brass are better, some people say it doesn't matter. They can be done vertically, horizontally, and I was told this was okay. I come down here. Hi, Contro. We got a visit from Contro. So then I come up through here, and this I just use as a primer for the pump. Have another union, I come down, I go into my pressure tank. But here's the difference. I had another check valve here. That's right, I had multiple check valves. I had a check valve there, check valve there, and a check valve there. Plumbers could not tell me why it was wrong to use three check valves. And everyone says just use this check valve and that's it. But no one could explain why you don't use more than that one. All this is is an inline valve just it just make sure the water doesn't go back up into your, your tank. Now I'm thinking, well, I kind of want that here. I don't want, if I got a problem, I don't want things to back up from here into there and up in the house into here. So I thought it made good sense to have three check valves. But when this thing here was cycling on and off, what was happening was this pressure tank was at 50 so I checked the valve down there it's at 50 it's at something different now but it was at 50 this one here would hit 50 and then it would drop down to 30 really fast now here's my logic if this check valve shuts off right does this thing then this is holding the pressure which is perfect so I know there's no leaks in this and everything is fine I got a check valve there and a check valve here between these two areas I'm losing pressure how is that possible I can't answer it but when I replace the check valve with and I just use a regular ball valve because I still want to isolate things it solved the problem. 
So if any of you know anything about plumbing, put down in the comments field why that this happens. So my recommendation is don't put a check valve here, but I don't understand why. And I want to know why. Other than just you don't do it. If this check valve is off, right, it blocks the pressure going back. And this one's already blocked because of the pressure in this water tank here. That means the pressure between here and here should not change. It should remain the same. So even if it was, I don't know, 40, but I go down to 30 before it kicks on, why would it continue to drop? It continues to drop like there's a leak, but there is no leak. And all I did was change this. This pressure stayed the same. It did not change. So I know this one wasn't leaking. And I know this one's not leaking now because it's holding the pressure. So, if any of you folks know something about plumbing, explain why for me down in the comments field. Um, I'd appreciate it. So, going forward, I guess, to all of you folks out there, don't put the check valve there. I can't explain why, and I want to know why. Other than it somehow loses pressure which doesn't make common sense. Some of you right now are thinking, boy, is that guy an idiot. Well, duh, have you seen my videos? Have you not been following me? I'm just an average guy who's just trying to make things work. <laughs> so, but I want to know why. You know, I fixed the problem, I'm good with that, but yet, I don't understand. So anyhow, um, to all of you who are going to do your own plumbing, I guess maybe that's why the plumbers don't tell you why, because they don't know why. Because they couldn't tell me why. Anyhow, it's solved. But I still have that check valve going into the house. Why doesn't that create a problem? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, problem solved. That's all I wanted to share with you. Um, and I do got something else pretty cool to, that I, I got. And uh, and I'll give you a, a tip right now on what it is. Check this out. Brass. PVC. Just slips right on in. That's a tip. I'll do a video here pretty soon about that. See you, my have fun.